When debating the necessity of rebuilding your engine, one of the key useful bits of information is what compressions you are developing in the motor today. Ideally, two conditions should exist before you try taking compressions. Firstly, the throttle butterfly or butterflies must be wide open. And secondly, ideally, you've got a hot engine. Looking at the compression tester itself, the most useful adapter we find is the spark plug thread with an O-ring. So select this. So we've already removed all four spark plugs so the engine spins freely. The throttle is now locked open at full throttle and in goes the compression tester adapter. You just spin this round by hand until you feel the o-ring grip. On goes the compression tester and then turn the engine on the starter motor for eight or nine pulses. Okay, so that's 13.5 bar we've got there, which is kind of right for a high compression engine. Out comes the adapter. And into number two. Of course, we've picked the most difficult engine to work on here, the P1800E. Uh, is notoriously difficult access to anything around the spark plugs and dizzy cap. So, eight or nine pulses. And we have 13.5 bar. Release the pressure, of course, before you try disengaging the gauge, otherwise we'll get an explosive release of it. Out it comes and into number three cylinder. On with the compression gauge. And you may not believe me, but that also was 13.5 bar. into number four cylinder. And, again. and this time we had 13 bar. So this engine basically we have no reason to doubt its integrity. That looks excellent. So 13 and a half, 13 and a half, 13 and a half and 13 bar. So what we do is calculate the largest delta. So that's the highest reading minus the lowest reading divided by the highest reading in percent. In this instance, we've got 4%. Anything less than 10% delta, we say the engine's good, we're not gonna to touch it. Between 10 and 20% delta, you've gotta consider a rebuild. If it's greater than 20%, then there's no question, just rebuild the poor old deer. The compression test is simply a quantifiable aspect of assessing an engine's health. One must account for other factors, such as oil consumption, do the valves have play in their guides, are the valves seating sweetly? Of course, you may also have the desire to change the specification of the motor, which will influence your decision on rebuild. All these factors have to be taken into account, the compression test is simply one of the key tools in your decision-making process.